shouldn't take it out. Yeah, you took that one instead of the one up at the bottom of the, that you just went back and took out. Gotcha. So let's try this. Ah, here we go. Now, notice we have a section one, section two, section two again. Should say section three. And when I click on that, we can expand it or control it. Yeah. And you can style those. Yes. Yes, you can. Um, let's look at styling this. Well, the, first of all, there's theming the content. All right, and we'll talk about that next time. Where with theming, you can go in and um, you can define certain like swatches, they call it, and you can then use those swatches for coloring your pages. But what I want to look at is what. what CSS classes you have available to you. All right. And they have UI grid A, UI grid uh, block A, UI block B. So these are things that you can do. These are, these are styles that are built in that you can go in and um, well, basic HTML styles, I think that's what I wanted to start. So you could go in and you could set styles for looks like there should be more there, but there is a, maybe when you get into layout grids. But anyhow, that shows that there's some built-in styles within there as well that you can go in. You know, here by defining a UI grid B, all right, that'll give you a a three child containers, all right, UI block A, block B, block C, that'll give you these three things. This is how do I want to say this? Um, this is um, one of those things that once you go over the basics of it, you'll learn it by going in and applying it. Now the good news about this is you can apply it just to plain HTML files. You don't have to go through PHP. This is all a client side thing. So you, you, know, you could incorporate it within PHP, but you don't have to apply that. Uh, I am unsure what I want to do Wednesday. Um, Boy, that's, not, that's an odd statement. Right? <laughs> I'm unsure what I want to do when I leave here tonight, all right, let alone Wednesday. So, um, Make sure you bring uh, your, you, you do have kind of a big lab, and, and there are other labs that, that you need to work on. So make sure you have your stuff to work on things. I will either cover more jQuery stuff, or I will have an exercise for you to work through jQuery stuff. That's actually what I'm leaning on for the moment of having a exercise where, again, you know, 45 minutes playing with this will probably, once you've gotten the background, will probably give you uh, more, will help you learn it better than, than a five hour lecture would. So you have the background, you have the basic idea of it. Uh, I'll probably give you uh, an exercise uh, to do. Um, on Wednesday, and if you finish that exercise, then you can work on your lab stuff. Uh, any questions at this point? Yes? So this is kind of like bootstrap with Java included. Like the Twitter bootstrap is basically just a huge CSS framework that gives you all the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with JavaScript included. With JavaScript. If you see some of the really good websites down in the they almost all have like tons of JavaScript included. So. All right. And like, like desktop chamber. Yeah, that, 
just regular jQuery. Right, right. Yeah. Well, and then when you and then when they 